Hey, what's up? It's Jonas. Sorry about the lighting. I'm uh, moving a bunch of stuff around in the shop, and uh, it's kind of hectic in here right now. Um, today we're talking about measuring instruments. Um, most common would be your um, caliper for everything we're doing in Gunsmith World. I mean, this is what I always run into to measure with anything. Um, breakdown on it is... Indicator in your measurement increment states it down here. I don't know if it's hundreds, what. It's your outside measuring tool. It's your inside measuring tool. And this is your depth measuring tool. All in the same tool. The difference between using this and a micrometer would be uh, a micrometer is more for like um that single thing. I couldn't I couldn't find one in the shop. I, I know I've got several I just can't find them um, I always knew that that your micrometer is something that you set and it's there all day and every time we pick it up we want it to be the same every time we pick it up it's only gonna be measuring this one thing this right here is something that um especially the stainless one that I've got in my back pocket half the time, like literally. Machine stuff is, is half the time it's in my back pocket. Maybe because I like it there, but you know, but, but it's it's a it's a catch-all tool. You can do all three at once. Um, the way you would measure your um, travel or play in something would be with an indicator, a dial indicator, and um. What it is, is wherever you're going to be, um, say like we just turn this on a lathe, we want to measure exactly how out of round it is. If I missed any spots, if I did this, you know, like by hand or stuff, it wasn't set on a computer. But um, this would mount to your uh, mill top or your lathe top, wherever you're going to be gauging this. And this play right here and that travel right there. It's measured in hundreds right here. And um, I think that about wraps it up. Maybe I forgot something, but um, I'm last man, I gotta get something in.